And we're very pleased to be joined now by Barry Katz, the producer of I Killed JFK. Barry, we thank you for your time as you join us from Malibu, California. What can viewers expect to see tonight? Well, what they can expect to see is a little bit of healing for themselves because everybody remembers who's uh, my age, unfortunately, and older, remembers where they were at that time. And I remember my mom crying. And uh, I just thought to myself all through my life, you know, there's certain mysteries in your life that are always solved. And this was one that I never really understood what the deal was, how it could possibly be a single bullet that killed JFK and how the country could believe that. And, and I, I've always looked for somebody who admitted to be the person who pulled the trigger and killed Kennedy. And there was never anybody that I ever found or did research on that had. And finally, uh, through some found footage that we received in Amter Amsterdam when we flew over there, uh, I found a, a, a hours of footage and documentary footage that had never been seen or rarely seen. And it tells a story that the American people have never heard before. And I think they're going to be very surprised and very shocked. And it'll be in their hands to believe what they believe. So uh, we want to ask you, until now, no one has ever confessed, obviously, as you mentioned, to the murder of JFK. Does your film actually include a confession of sorts? Yes, it does. And uh, it's a man by the name of James Files who has been incarcerated for 30 years for attempted murder of two police officers in Chicago. And um, he did one interview in 1994 and another one in 2003 that basically have been, you know, sequestered. And, and, and there's hours of this footage that I've been through. And with interviews, uh, you'll find he tells a very compelling story of how he was a driver for the mob when he was a young man in Chicago. And they asked him to come to Dallas to be a driver there. And at the last minute, he was asked to be a backup shooter uh, on the grassy knoll. And uh, I'm not going to spoil the story for you, but it's, it's, it's really amazing. Uh, as I understand it, Barry, uh, your film features interviews with two former FBI agents who found this admitted assassin's confession to be credible. What, what in the final analysis gives the story credibility? Well, what gives it credibility is the fact that they did hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of interviews with different people that they spoke to, like any in investigation. As any homicide detective will tell you, sooner or later, they all mess up. And people do talk at times. And uh, Files' um, uh, people that he worked with on this job, uh, people like uh, Charles Nicoletti and Johnny Roselli, uh, they were murdered in the 70s. But they rarely talked about things. And when you did, as he said in the interview with me, uh, and not with me, but he said on the, uh, on the documentary, he always was in a situation where he never talked about anything. The moment the assassination happened, he never spoke of it again. Barry but Katz, this is compelling indeed. We look forward to the premiere of your documentary, I Killed JFK. That'll be tonight here on Newsmax TV, 9 o'clock Eastern. Now preceding that at 8 o'clock, Newsmax TV special coverage of President Obama's expected announcement of amnesty uh, on illegal immigration. We will have that for you. Hope to see you back here tomorrow, 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 in the morning out west. Stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.